being a brand ambassador for Avon. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, if you can tell us more about your association with Avon. Oh uh, well. About a few months ago, uh, For Avenue approached me and said we would like to have you on board, and I was really excited because, like I said, I have been using their products and like been shopping at For Avenue stores from the time I was in college when I didn't have any money to shop, but I would like save all this money to go and buy something from there because you know if you had a, if you were making a plan with your friends or like if there was a birthday party or something that I had to go for some special event, then uh, I would I would I, I said I know I'm going to find something over there that I will really like. So I used to save up and I. Used to go in college and buy so it's it's great to come full circle and uh, you know a few years later be their face and the first face in India which is very special for me and to be their brand ambassador also because I feel like their aesthetic is very similar to mine uh, I'm generally very classic very uh, understated um, you know simple kind of dresser and I feel like their aesthetic is the same so it's a great match I think and you know it's a pro it's a uh, it's a brand I relate to and I have a history with so yeah, I'm okay, really Nana, excited. Uh, you are a brand <laughs> So how does a celebrity plays a role whenever they endorse any product or the play being a brand face? What role do they play? Yeah. Uh well, I guess to promote the, the 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 brand. But I think what's what's important is at least for me personally, I always feel that I like to uh, associate with, with brands that I relate to, that I'm familiar with, brands that I actually use and uh, that I'm an actual consumer of because then it feels more real doesn't feel like I'm lying then you know to look to yeah. the public otherwise it just feels like okay I never use this brand I don't know anything about it but I'm going to tell people to buy it that I feel is a bit wrong <laughs> so for me I like to have that connect and that association if it's a brand that I've actually used in my life or if it's a product that I'm familiar with or uh, if you know the brands that actually make me happy then I would love to you know be part and associate with them which is luckily in my life so far that's happened and I've had the opportunity to associate with brands that I genuinely uh, would use in my life and that's why I would tell other people to use them as well. <laughs> okay Dynamite you have immense number of followers many people look up to you and whenever it's come to a fashion so do you feel pressurized because you have to always be a perfect or otherwise people will go into troll you because nowadays it's very common. It's very common but I've become used to it I'm like <laughs> If somebody wants to say something good, great. If somebody wants to say say something bad, whatever, you know. I'm just going to like block it out of my mind because it's in, it's impossible to live up to that expectation all the time. I mean, you step out to go to a, on, for a flight at 6 in the morning, you cannot be full hair, makeup, dolled up and looking perfect at 6 in the morning. Like, I will wake up at 5.30, leave my house at quarter 6 and reach my flight and roll out of bed and not bother about my face. So, I mean, and people should realize that. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's at the end of the day, we're all human. So, I guess... Eventually, after a period of time, you become immune to it and you learn how to cut out the negativity and only embrace the positivity and yeah, that's what you okay. eventually do. Actors okay. are always known for uh, experim experimenting on their looks, you know, but what is that one thing you, won't, uh, you would never experiment with? Uh, I, th I think after all these years, I know what suits me and what doesn't and I know what works on me and what doesn't. So I like to experiment, it's it's fun, it's exciting, At others it gets very boring and you do the same thing over and over again. But if I know something's not going to work then I probably wouldn't do it because why would I put myself in that position and then get like trolled for it <laughs> like when I know that it's not going to work. So then I would experiment within a limit and within what I know would work for me and, and not do what I know would definitely be an epic fail and then like have to deal with the repercussions after that. <laughs> okay, Diana, lastly, uh, very soon we're going to see you in uh, Shiddat uh, yes. opposite uh, Mohit Raina. So what's the status and it's your uh, debut production also? Yes, the I'm really of. looking forward to to, to uh, working on Shiddat because I mean it's great to go back to you know the place where my career started and to work with uh, uh, Dinu again and to work with you know the whole of uh, uh, Madoc actually um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to working with Kunal because we've never worked together before and Mohit um, and it's there's a lot of us there's Mohit there's uh, Sunny there's Radhika so it's like a big bunch of us so I'm sure it's going to be fun first time I'm doing a, a, a true like a intense love story I've never done one before I've done rom-coms and drama mm. and you know those kind of things but I've never done an intense love story so it's going to be interesting a uh, very interesting story it's you know within the love story there's a story which is why I think I took to the script a lot and yeah I'm looking forward to shooting in like three weeks okay. <laughs>